You know, I'm Challenger, I have no life, but I'm Diamond right now, so I probably can get rank 1. Previously on Dragon Balls in my mouth, I was the best cameo NA. Oh, and we were in our series for Diamond 4. And then in the next game, I play V. And I was like gonna gank top lane, then I see Graves, I'm like, oh shit. So I'm like, mmm, bitch, eat my fucking Q. And then he's like trying to duel me, but like, I don't know, it's pretty stupid. So I just beat the shit out of him and he suicides. And then yeah, I was always trying to get a piece of my ass, but like, What's she gonna do, right? So she walks into us, and then I miss my Q, but that doesn't matter. She flashed it anyways. And then I come bot lane to do this little nice plant trick to actually dive the bot lane, because I see the MF is super low. Now, when I review this clip, I'm just thinking, is this a save gank? It must have been, and it was, because one minute ago, Graves was seen hit a top lane. So this dive, hmm clean as fuck. I don't even want to use my key first because I know this bitch has flash like every time I get a lane. Also, I didn't want to go on the Sona because I knew she was too tanky and had some other bullshit. So that's all I wanted in that gank. And then right here, I'm going to gank the Ari and I'm like, ooh, I'm waiting for you to do something stupid so I can use my key. Fuck, my Vi is so clean. And right here, this Ari tries to roam, but we're trying to set up something on this bitch. So I'm like, ooh, kill him. Ooh, ooh, kill him. Ooh, kill him. Ooh. ooh. Oh, oh. <laughs> now it's kind of awkward um, and it's a 3v2, but I still go in. That's actually really bad. And I start chugging my pots, but I don't die. Then I can see our Victor is actually here. So I want to come back into this gank. And then this Sona, pretty oom, um, doesn't have like ignite or anything. So I can easily kick her ass. And this Graves dies from minions. Wow, I'm so good at this game. This Ari right here, she doesn't have, uh, I, I think she has ult, but she dies anyways, so, yeah, that's good for us. And then I come top lane, and I'm like, ooh, I really want to kill this Jace, I really need to burst him, but he jukes me, bashes me away, and then people come, and I'm like, shit, I'm dead. But it was pretty stupid, because we did know that Graves was down in the river, we didn't know that Sona was there, but there was an assumption that she could have been there. But yeah, these two guys are... Pushing down mid, and as I see my bard roam up, I really want to kill this Ari, and I do kill her, but this Graze has tons of damage, and he kicks my ass. Definitely not worth, but at least we do kill the Graves, but bard does die. Nonetheless, pretty stupid. Anyways, my team starts sieging, but the Kaelin gets caught out, and uh, a lot of people are dying, but this bard gets a really nice ultimate, so I flash in there to try and get a nice CC chain, and then I ult whoever's in front of me. We kill the Sona, but I probably should have ulted the Graves, but either way, uh, I still die. And uh-oh, it looks like we're throwing just a little bit. And then right here, just killing the Sari. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of trolling because, like, I'm going in 1v, or 2v1, but there's a potential of people coming in, so, yeah, not doing things as a group, that's not okay. And then I get nuked down, I'm like, oh shit. Then this Graze flashes over me, and I'm in a sticky situation, because I took so much damage previously, and I die. That sucks, but my team finally can carry their own weight, and cleans up the team fight by themselves. So that's pretty good for us, and yeah, that's pretty good for us, I know. And then I uh, killed this Graze in my jungle, because he was just like running around, and I don't know. And the Sona, oh, what are you doing? You can't do this. So I just basically kick her ass. And yeah, I kick her ass, but it takes a while. And after that, that's basically a free Baron. But I know Jace is up here, and I know my team is cutting off someone else. So we're just trying to get as much kills as possible. And this Jace doesn't really have too much damage, so I can kick his ass. And then I just wait for my teammates to come because, well, why, why wouldn't I, right? Actually, I don't know. And then right here, my team is like doing stuff, but we're still outnumbering the enemy right now. And I just go into Jace to lock him down so my team can kill him. I'm really tanky, so he can't really do anything to me. And then my team resets, and yeah. We're just going for the breaking siege, where I kill this Ari. Well, no, just kidding. I just burst the shit out of her. But I'm basically waiting for my team to be in position to kill somebody. And I'm just like, eh, fuck Ari. She can probably like flash in the Nexus, and I'll probably die. So yeah, I'd probably die if I ulted her. And yep. That's it, that's the game for me, and I get my first win in my promos. And then in the next game, I play Kha'Zix, because I'm the best at him. Now, I was kind of lurking in the shadows, um, because the Misfortune was going to recall, but she stays after our bottom lane back, so I know that, and I'm like, basically trying to kill her, but she's too tanky. Then our TF actually comes in, so I start taking the tower, and that's all I'm going to do. Then I leave him to die, because, well, yeah, I can't help him anymore. 
And then right here, I find a Jarvan in his jungle, but he's quite low. So basically what's going to happen here is going to be kind of a zoning out going on where I zone out the Jarvan, but we're not supposed to dive here because, well, I mean, Jarvan's going to be here. So basically what happens is I die. Although we get the GP's flash, but I mean, dying is not a good thing, right? So like in the end, the Poppy kind of screwed it up. All she had to do was not dive. Unless TF came up quicker than Karma, then we could do it. But no dive because Jarvan was there. I get a kill though, which is like good for me because I can carry. But it's still a bad trade for us. But yeah, I just keep camping this GP because he's easily campable. Easily diveable because Poppy's tanky. And also he has no flash. Like... <laughs> fuck you bitch and yeah this gp just keeps dying over and over because he's so easy to kill i also got time at this game i think i should have got it before warrior though just for clears i also almost fuck up this gank because like he cleared the ward before i could kill him so yeah i almost screw up but fortunately i do kill him and i get a clean getaway and then this poppy is like i kind of want to dive this gp i kind of want to stick around because i feel like someone will gank this poppy if she stays and there's like three mids so only jarvan can come and yeah i was waiting for this poppy to get ganked but we just go for the dive anyways and that's cool for us and the mean poppy start wailing on this tower but brand flashes in so he's creating a firestorm around us and you know it's a little bit scary but it looks like it's only him, so I'm just waiting for this poppy to initiate, and ooh, that, that courage of the Colossus makes her live. Oh yeah, and then this scene, I get a phone call. Hello? Fuck you. Wait, fuck, why am I listening to this? Fuck you. As you can see, my Kha'Zix is so clean, I can play well on the phone. But that call was an automated message saying like, saying like, oh, you could bo you fucking want a cruise to Antarctica and here's your free boat, etc. You know, th those scams. Like if we can nuke those phone spammers, oh, I'd be so happy. But I think I'd have to get a 25 kill streak to actually nuke those guys. And right here, we're just having control of Baron. Also, I'm building Tanky because I love tank Kha'Zix. And then this Jarvan actually just comes in and he's trying to kill me. I'm like, what? And I predict his flash because I'm really good at Kha'Zix. Except I don't think I have the stealth there, but oh well. Then this GP tries to kill me, but I'm going tank Kha'Zix, so he dies to me. But that's how the cookie crumbles and we get a triple kill. Then we get the mid o inhibitor. And now as you can see, I have a dead man's plate, which I actually liked. You'll see. Because I actually feel really tanky. I'm not that bursty, but honestly, hmm. Could tank Kha'Zix after AD be really good and be like a meta thing? Hmm. I'm just wondering if that could be a thing. Because, eh, I really like it. I really do. Makes me feel good about myself. I think I will do this more often where if I'm fed, I'll, you know, go this path. But if I'm not, I'll just go straight AD. And guess what happened? We get, well, League Info Processing was going on forever. So I just restarted the client. But guess what rank I got? That's right. We are now diamond three bitches i skipped the division because that's how good i am this game knows how good i am i'm the best at this game and that's why i'm diamond three right now for all the people wondering why did i skip diamond four it's because my mmr is super high i think it's like diamond two right now it's just the system is stupid because you can only be placed like platinum one so if they like climb and play a few games to get where you're at but my lp gains are really high while my lp losses are really low so my mmr right now is either diamond two or diamond one i'm not sure but we have to figure out and see. We'll definitely see what happens when we do our Diamond 3 promos. Then in the next game, we played Ivern, but we actually already made like a live commentary on it. And my editor did some work with it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy that video. And in the next game, we played Janna. Ooh, woo. um, what can I say about this game? Because honestly, looking at this video and just watching me play Janna is just so boring. So let's see. Hmm. Lee Sin comes for a gank. And then this Thresh is getting his ass kicked, so we kill him, and then Lee Sin killed the Vayne. Oh no, I remember this game, okay, okay. So my Ezreal was like doing really well, but like he was 
Mm, okay, whatever, I don't fucking care. He was pretty stupid because, like, this gank was seen a mile away, and he went, he eat into the vein when he saw them coming, like, at the banana bush. I think that's what it's called, but basically, he just suicides, and it's like, holy fuck, you stupid. But not only did he, like, do this, he was also pushing the lane and, like, basically making the vein have free farm instead of harassing her. Like, Thresh in this game was roaming so much that it was a 1v2, and it was, like... Well, he could have basically zoned her, but he didn't, and he just went for the farm, and he just constantly kept pushing him to the tower. Um, basically, he he was pretty low diamond, 80 carry from what I can feel, or he was in an off row, I don't know, but I get a different feeling whenever I play with a challenger 80 carry, and like, this 80 carry definitely was super different, but like, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time when I'm playing support, and I just let my 80 carry do whatever, because usually I'm supporting, you know, challenger 80 carries or whatever, and they know what they're doing, so I just let them do whatever, but... This time, I should have told my AD carry to be more aggressive and stop pushing in and, you know, basically doing everything that I was thinking and, you know, just kind of ordered him around because he, he didn't really know what was going on in terms of macro play in the laning phase. His mid game and late game was fine, but there could have been so much more happening in the early game for sure. Oh no, and then this happens. All I wanted to do is ward, but like... They were setting up for a team fight, not like doing the Baron. So actually, I just straight up die, which sucks so much. It's hard to say if my team could have uh, actually won this team fight if I had lived. I think if I lived, actually, we probably could have delayed it more or something. I'm not sure. But like, yeah, it sucks so much. Everyone dies, everyone loses. GG, well played. I guess that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. On the next episode of Dragon Balls in my mouth, we play Hecarim. Oh, what a fucking surprise. You guys definitely weren't expecting this one. Actually, I'm gonna clickbait and call this literally 1v9 Hecarim. But in my head, it's literally 1v9. You'll see. So that's what the title is gonna be, and I hope to see you guys there. Anyways, if you guys did like this video, make sure to leave a like, and if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Panzer Dragon, and I'll see you guys next time.